Hi there Librans, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at September 12 through September 18. This is one of those weeks when it's like, you know, you throw everything out of your closet in order to put it back in again and sort everything out, maybe and color code it, very Libran of you. And yet you don't get to do that and so the clothes just stay in a heap in your room and get dirty and dusty and all you know messed up it's one of those up in the air kind of crazy weeks the biggest celestial events this week are a sun mercury merger a mars uranus trine and a lunar eclipse now that's a lot in the one week on monday september 12 the sun makes its third inferior conjunction with mercury both of which are in Virgo, your 12th house of past karma, subconscious and self-renewal. Every inferior conjunction between the Sun and Mercury asks us to look back at past issues. But this time Mercury is retrograding in Virgo, which is pretty much one of the stricter signs of the zodiac, an earth sign that is black and white. There's not that much gray, whereas Librans, you are much more of a pastel person and have a lot of gray areas in your life. All this activity, the Sun and Mercury in Virgo, suggest it's a good time to clean house around job issues and check up that your health care plan and that your health and the health of your loved ones, including your pets, is, is definitely being looked after. Now, on Friday, there's a Pisces full moon lunar eclipse. Normally, we get excited about such things. It's normally like a nice ending to something. But this eclipse is actually being overpowered by Mars, the planet of energy and passion, which is smack in the middle of the eclipse, not only getting in the way of the usual Pisces lunar vibe of peace and love but indicating an increase in hostilities at home and abroad. The only bright spot is that the Sun, Moon and Mars are all inflexible zodiac signs famous for their ability to adapt and adjust. The Mars-Uranus fire trine on Saturday September 7 is the most interesting for you. Mars being in Sagittarius, your communication zone. Uranus being in Aries, your relationship zone. And that is definitely where you need to be looking at your, you know, what is happening for you and what you can do to maybe diffuse a situation which is something that you excel at maybe diffuse a situation between an Aries a Sagittarius and or Aquarius or just one of those signs where you feel that someone's got the wrong end of the stick and you would like to just step in and with a few words you can diffuse it the Mars Uranus fire trine can help you adapt and adjust and help other people do that too the creativity and originality of this trine make this a time when you could be pleasantly surprised if you decide to go for it and take a risk and of course risk taking is what it's all about because of course you've got Jupiter the biggest planet in the zodiac and the powerball tats lotto winning planet in your sign for the next year don't forget that have a great week great speaking to you and i look forward to speaking to you again next week